Well, thank you for having me. I'm honored. And thank you all of my people who showed up. I'm, I was so excited every time one of your names popped up on the top of the screen. So thanks for the support. It means a ton. And now here we go. So I'm Erin Karp. I'm a fine art photographer. I focus mostly on architectural abstracts. I started in a dark room and on film many, many moons ago, and I didn't transfer, tra ooh, I'm nervous. I didn't move to digital until 2009, and that was a very reluctant change. Um, but I still shoot manually and in natural light, and I still make my own prints. I don't use Photoshop. Um, the images are what I, I shoot, I show you what I actually see. So, <laughs> Um, I am going to share my screen. Okay. And this needs to be, okay. So here we go. That's me. My website's on the bottom, my Instagram's on the bottom, but I also have it at the end of this presentation too. Um, so I shoot really minimalistic kind of work mostly. Um, my dad is an abstract oil painter. Some of his work is behind me and he's a color master and I think he's amazing and he's a huge influence on my eye. I grew up with his paintings all over the house and I definitely think there is an internal um, effect on the way I see the world. So I'm going to show you different countries. This isn't all just one project, but we're going to start in Italy. Um, and then we'll move on to Spain and the Netherlands. So this is, this was taken at a winery in Bargino, Italy. Um, I was in Tuscany for a photography workshop and I read an article in the New York Times right before I left about this winery and it's an architectural marvel. And it was a dream trip for me to be able to see this place and to photograph it. Um, and I proposed it to the group that, that I was in, in Italy and nobody wanted to go. I was the only person and I kept pushing and nobody wanted to go and I couldn't believe it. And so we had a driver taking us from place to place all week and he knew how desperately I wanted to photograph this place. And he, he said to me one day, we took everybody to San Gimignano and he said, Aaron, it's a half hour drive from here. If you wanna go shoot this winery, let's go. You're literally only gonna have 20 minutes and we're gonna to have to get back in the car. And I was like, oh my God, let's go. But wait a second. How did you know that it was so special before you went? I, I, I saw some photos of the, uh... sorry, I just wanna let her in. Um... Jay will do that, don't worry about okay. it. I saw photos in the paper and just the shapes. I mean, I'm a very shape-driven person when I'm shooting, shape and light and shadow. Um, and I, I had to go to this place. So right. thank God for Michelino who took me. This was the first photograph I made from the parking lot actually of this winery. Um, and this was really thrilling for me. So here's another one of the images. Miss Erin from next door. Jackson. Hi, I'm going to meet you, Tricia. <laughs> okay. Um, so I actually just read about this winery online. It hasn't been picked up very much somehow. I don't really understand. But I have not seen it photographed the way I, I captured it at all. So now we're in Siena. This is... Um, Fonte Branda, it was, I just thought the light coming in was so beautiful. Um, so, and this is in Vernazza. Like I said, I see in shapes and it's and color, thanks to my dad. Do you, do you ever go back at different times of the day? Yep. For harder light, softer light? Yep. Um, I have photographed many of the places that I've been to repeatedly. Mm. And it's, unfortunately, I haven't been back to Bargino. I'm 
dying to actually go back to that winery and spend real time, not just 20 minutes. Yeah. But um, yeah, there's a photo I'll get to in Spain that I've gone back to that locale several times and um, the light is never the same. And I've never been able to get the same photograph as I did that I'll show you. So, so. when you shoot something, yep. so you take the shot, does the thought come to you, wow, I have to come back at this time of day because I think it'll be even more striking? Like no. The- no, I mean, I'm usually just wandering and it's, I'm always in busy cities, touristy places, and I'm always looking for quiet moments, mm. and, you know, like an escape from the chaos. Um, so I consider my work kind of meditative and calming, which is what I need usually, <laughs> like right now. Um, no, like true. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, so this is just a rooftop in Florence and I, I went up to the pool on the roof of the hotel I was staying at and I looked over and I saw this and I ran downstairs and got my camera and made the photograph. This I shot in Bologna, Italy. And again, it's just, I'm walking and I see, I saw this wall with the pipe and the wires and I was like, oh my God. And I just had to take the photo. So um this is another one where i was in porto venere in italy and i rounded this corner and from the end of the street this was all i saw this image and i was so excited um this is the duomo in italy in florence pardon me and this is another one where i i turned a corner and this was all i could see um yeah I don't this is just how I see um and I don't like I said I don't use photoshop people are always like well, when did you do to it and I didn't do anything to it this is the actual image they all are the images this is obviously in Venice and I couldn't believe that I walked past this gondolier in this position. He had no idea I took the photo. I never even saw his face. Um, but just all the, the lines and how his hat lines up and the lines mimicking in the shirt. And I just, oh, it just made me so excited. So it's actually a, an emotional reaction. Oh yeah, every single time. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Um, This is in Sevilla, Spain, where I lived for a year, and it's one of my favorite places on earth. And they have these coverings over streets to keep the sun out. And this is one of them. I just thought it was so beautiful, the texture and the repetition and, you know, the abstraction. I think there's just beauty everywhere in small details if we pay attention. Um, So that's kind of how I wander around. Whenever I'm traveling, I go without any kind of itinerary and I'm always better off if I'm alone when I'm traveling because I don't feel like I've got anybody like waiting for me to make these photos. And I love the freedom of just being able to wander without a plan and stop when something inspires me. And that's when I make my best photographs, I think. And what are you shooting with Aaron? Um, I'm shooting with an old camera, a Nikon D300. <laughs> mm-hmm. Time to upgrade, but that's another project. Um, so again, like I said, I see in shapes and colors and abstractions essentially. Um, and this was just one of these moments. So I named this Alegria, Joy, Happiness. Um, I think the colors are just, it just made me feel good. And this, I photographed at the Real Alcazar in Sevilla. Um, like, I mean, the skies in Sevilla are almost always blue like this. There's just perfection. And, you know, again, it's just a light and shape and minimalist kind of, this is how I see. Mm-hmm. This is one of my favorite newer images um, on my last trip to Sevilla in October, 2019. I, this was the view out of my Airbnb window every morning. And 
I'd open the shutters and go out onto my balcony and see this. And I finally made the photo. Uh, this is a, just a beautiful day in Sevilla as well. So. And how long do you stay in the space, Aaron? Until I feel like I made a photo that I'm happy with. Oftentimes I only make one photo and then I move on. Um, and then other times I'll, I change angles and I, I do, uh, I try different things basically. Um, so this is a wall that we walk past in Granada every day. And this is one where I actually noted the light changing constantly. Mm -hmm. Sometimes this wall was just peachy whitish. Um, but I thought it was so interesting with the roof shadow and then just a little bit of nature. I mean, the suggestion of nature. So a dialogue kind of between architecture and nature. And this is the image that I was talking about earlier, where uh, this was taken in Sevilla in um, Barrio Santa Cruz. It's all pedestrian streets, really narrow streets. And I saw the light falling on this wall and like this, and I crouched down against the other side of the street against a building and waited for passersby to move, crossing my fingers that the light wouldn't change in the meantime. Um, and I made only two yeah. photographs. This is the one that I did better. Actually bringing the solemnity to the national anthem and okay. turning. Okay. So I've gone back to this wall many times since and the light is never the same. And I, it's not something I can reproduce at all. I've tried just for curiosity and it's not possible, which I think is awesome. Aaron, do you take any notes like, you know, this wall at four o'clock, you know, July 7th, do you do anything like that? I try to, I sometimes do, it depends. I mean, often when I'm driving, if I drive past something that's amazing at a certain time, I'll put a note in my phone, like come back to this spot at this time during this time of the year. I don't usually go back though realistically. I'm more of a spontaneous, it needs to happen when I'm, when I'm out kind of thing. Um, but yeah, this, I love this image. And this is one that I saw in 2018, 17, one year I went to Sevilla, 2018. And I didn't get to make this photograph when I was there. I was traveling with somebody and you know, that whole, I don't want to have somebody waiting for me thing. So I thought about this wall for an entire year. And then when I went back in October 2019 alone, I was determined to find this wall again. And I did. And I made this photograph. And it's just, I called it Wall of Peace, Muro de Paz, because it just brings me such a sense of calm. Like I said, I'm often just looking for tranquility when I'm shooting because there's such busy cities that I'm in. And you prefer the cities than the forest. Yeah, I prefer architecture at this point. I started out shooting details in nature yep. um, and I've just gravitated towards architecture uh, over the years. It's just been kind of a natural progression. Yep. Um, <laughs> so this image, oftentimes when I'm making photographs, people walk by and they're like, why is she shooting? What does she see? Because this was literally a construction site in Sevilla and I'm the only person who stopped to appreciate it, but I just found such beauty in all the textures and the lines and the, the neutral palette and, um, you know, all of this, so. And this is just a shadow piece, just super minimalistic. Um, taken at a very touristy spot in Sevilla um, but I was more attracted to the shadows cast than the actual structure. And this is the structure. So this was kind of a neat, but. And this was a very difficult photograph because it was handheld in a dark cathedral in Sevilla, La Catedral. And I'm shooting up at this buttress ceiling. I just thought this was so gorgeous and I'm very proud of myself for not having shaky hands and pulling it off. <laughs> <laughs>
This is another image made in the same cathedral while going up the Giralda Tower. And I was in a horde of people, like where you're being pushed sort of up these stairs and I couldn't stand it. And I saw the light coming through this tiny little window and like put myself in it and made a few photographs. Um, again, handheld in very low light. And, this and is all, the, all these with natural light, right? All, everything natural light. And I don't, like I said, no Photoshop ever. I don't, there's, what I'm showing you is how I saw it and what I shot. Um, this was in the Banos de Maria in the Alcázar in Sevilla. And this was in a room filled with people, literally elbow to elbow. Again, unbelievably low light. And I am amazed that I was able to hold the camera with my shutter open for so long and make this image, which I just uh, makes me feel really good. There's a print back here, but it's uh, very glary. And this, like I said, texture and lines and all of that is a big motivator for me. So this was another construction site in Granada, Spain. And I walked past this, the facade of this building and it was this golden hue and I couldn't believe my eyes. Here I spent quite a long time actually, like at least 20 minutes photographing different sections of this building wall. Um, this was a, the ground in Granada. I was sitting at the top of the restaurant after the rain. Um, I just thought it was so beautiful, the repetition and the light reflecting off the wet ground and the shadows and all of it. And this is in Utrecht. We are now in the Netherlands. Um, this is when I got out of the train station to go visit a good friend of mine and it's this psychedelic structure. I made a few photographs. This is in Amsterdam in the Museum Plain. It's a, um, a reflection of the Van Gogh Museum. Mm -hmm. And I didn't do anything to this photo. People ask me all the time, but I didn't do anything. It's just, that's the image. This is in the same square. This is the State Alike Museum. Um, and again, I just thought the intersections of all these lines were just, I just thought it was such a beautiful moment. And I forgot to say titling work is often difficult for me. So <laughs> this one was inspired by Bjork, one of my favorite musicians on the planet. Um, and actually I used a bunch of segments of her, <laughs> there's my niece, of my, uh, of her songs for titles. Um, and actually I did a whole, bunch of titling for work from Spain with flamenco terminology. <laughs> and this is in Utrecht at a museum. Um, I just thought this was so interesting. The, all the repetition and the light coming through this glass and the abstraction that it made. And this is in the Rijksmuseum, just in the entrance. Uh, the light that comes through the ceilings the, it's like a full glass ceiling. It's just so beautiful. So this is one of the photos I made there. This, A History of Touch, another Bjork lyric. Um, this is just really beautiful light coming into that same museum in Utrecht. So, um, yeah. Yep. When, when you go out at night. Yeah. I mean, that's a different challenge, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. So do you come back during the day thinking like, oh, that was that was interesting. I have to come back, you know, night versus day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it depends on what the uh, it depends on what the subject is, you know, okay. but I do. I go I go back. Um, and this was in Amsterdam. I was going my dad lived in Amsterdam for five years and I went to find his old apartment. And this was on the walk to his apartment. I just thought the light coming onto the staircase was so gorgeous. And that's a wrap for me. This is a construction site. I, right after I saw the photo, the, the image that I titled Obra Sevilla, I walked down another narrow little pedestrian street and I looked into this window of this building and 
the light was literally just falling on these construction materials like this. And I just was like, oh, serendipity. This is amazing. And and, um, and, and you're selling prints on your site, right? I sell prints, but reach out to me. It's I don't have my website set up for, you can't just buy it from my website. So okay. reach to out to me and... So you have the cutest fan. In I the know, that's my niece and I'm so happy she's here. My God, her. you know, we, you have to start photographing her. I, I believe me, I have. I made them a whole <laughs> book of this girl. She has got the biggest tongue in the world. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. And she's now a rock star. She is. It, she's the sweetest. Ordered, but Aaron, I mean, the, like, the whole process for you, how long does it take you to, you know, like recognize, all right, that was a great shot, like, and then you go back and print it? Or do you print everything to no. see how it looks? No, 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 no. Like, I, when I, I know my super hitters the second that I see them. You do. I make them, yeah. Um, and those are ones that I'm like, I'm absolutely printing this, even if it has nowhere to go right now. Right. I, I'm still, like I said, I learned in the dark room and I love having an image in my hand. I still love printing. You know? yeah. um, I think the print is just as important as the actual photograph. So yeah. that's how I do. And, and do you sometimes either disappointed or thrilled when you get the print and say, well, you know, I didn't think it was going to be that compelling. And then it is, or vice versa. I thought there was more there and there wasn't. Um, not usually. I mean, I print my you own know. work. So I'm the one who I make, I make sure the print is what I would want. It's, I make sure the print's what I want. Right. Be. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't, I've had some, issues like I printed a piece actually a photograph that I made in Sevilla in 2019 that I loved a building facade with a lot of shadows and it was kind of a grayish wall and when it printed it printed sort of violet which I could never reproduce in a million years I don't know what the glitch was that day but I actually loved it and so I made two prints and well that'll never happen again um yeah yeah, Actually, everybody in the chat room is is in awe. I mean, everyone loving it. Really, I don't even see the chats. Yeah, you got to get back to the hey. chat room. Wait, I just want to uh, show off my dad for a second because he's amazing. Oh, this is your dad's work. Okay. Yeah, this is one of my dad's little paintings, but he's a really incredible artist and a huge inspiration for me. And he's on here. Hi, Danny. <laughs> So that's it. Thank you, guys. Hey, Aaron, maybe you could uh, stop the uh, the share and uh, show the painting again, so you could we could see it in a bigger view. Oh, good idea. Okay, hang on. Okay. Now show it. Um. Wait, I don't see you guys though. Up a little higher. Oh, we see you. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I'm trying to find the zoom. Okay. There you go. There we go. So yeah. this is just a little guy, but I've got another big one on the floor back here. Anyway, we just moved into this house, so I don't really have any art hanging up yet. <laughs> Sorry. Great. Well, Aaron, thank you so much for doing this. Thank you, you guys. Uh, thank you.